Welcome in to a brand new episode. The Tiger Vault's taking on the Wellington Firebirds in the first game of two for the One Day Cup. So we haven't started too good in the One Day Cup. We'll quickly go over those results. Of course, you guys are here for that draw against Canterbury, which we should have probably won with three runs needed off the last over. We did beat Central Districts by three wickets. We could have been on the perfect start. Central Districts, 369 all out. Wales, 70 out of 118, got up front. 10 falls, 1-6. Clarkson, 64. Friend, 66. And Skelton, 79. 2 for 88 for Hall. 2 for 69 for Brady. 2 for 34 for Moon. 4 for 68 for Fulcher. And a very good return for him. 298 we post with Turner, 94. Moon, 35. Cochrane, uh, 40. Foxcroft, 67. Not out. Good support from Hall at the end, getting us to a decent total. Tool, 4 for 78, Rutherford, 4 for 65, and Skelton, 2 for 33. So we bowled them out for 205 in this thing. It's a pretty good effort from Brady, 5 for 48, 2 for 28 for Hall, and Kitson, 2 for 66. He did it pretty well. Um, Turner and Moon getting us off to a really good start. Turner with 89, Moon with 95, Phillips with 37, and then it was a wee bit of a battle towards the finish, but we did manage to get over the line. Where does that put us in the first class standings? It puts us in first place, which is a remarkable feat for the Otago side. So we'll go to the first couple one-day cup games. We've been pr probably outplayed a wee bit in this. 293 for five. Lewis and Moon both getting 82. Sutherland and Foxcroft finishing off the innings quite strong there. Graves, three for 84. Two for 63 for low. And in response, 294 for 5 with Wales 137 and Friend at 92 off 80. We started off good. Uh, K was brilliant up front, 4 for 50, but not much else from the other bowlers. Then we had a loss against Northern Districts, 297 for 7 they posted with the top 3 all getting 50s. Uh, very score scoring freely. Peterson, 2 for 55, 3 for 62 for Horn, 2 for 57 for Peel. And we're all out for 259 with Bentall 72, 40 stay Aswood and Finn Allen and Fulcher Runnable 34. Sharing the wickets for all their bowls. They did a good enough job to sort of contain us. And we're 0 2 to start the one day cup campaign. So you guys will be back with the uh, pretty much the naming of the team. Here's our team for today's game, guys. So we've got Turner and Moon opening up the batting. Aswood at 3 and Captain. Phillips at 4. Bentall at 5. Finn Allen at 6. Foxcroft at 7. Armstrong on debut at 8. So he's taking the place of Fulcher. Fulcher out of form. Hall, Kitson and True Scott make up our team. So it's going to be an interesting game. We need to win. We need to get on the board in this one day cup. We put into bat first. Got to bat quite well. Got to bat 50. That's our goal. Just want a good respectful score here. But yeah, just... Got to show some class here. Moon doing a good job with the um, bats. Predominantly, he's a batting all-rounder. He can bowl a little bit. So, he, in the one day, I suspect him to bowl three to four overs, maybe a game, if he is available. I think he's been incredibly handy so far. He's been very valuable. 33 without loss. Just a wee bit out of form at the moment. The first class has been very good. I want to finish that when we get back to that very strongly. Of course, New Zealand take on Zimbabwe in today's uh, test match as well. Chance for some of our guys that got called up to impress. We will keep an eye on that result for you during these couple games. Moon getting that away for four. That's 50 run partnership. 51 without loss. Turner gone for 29. Three for one after ten. Solid start. Asper will be looking to play himself into the Black Caps. He's had a bit of a taste of it. Uh, now he is a good quality one day player. Good shot for Moon down the ground. That's four. It's playing a mess. Shot for four. Four more. That's boomed away for six. It's 
good shot. That's another four. King to Moon. Well played from Moon. Moving the ball into the gap. 41 of 35 he is now. It's good shots. This one's the gap. It's going to build partnerships here. Do a good job. It's a good shot. That's 50 for our Moon. Well batted. Second 50 of the campaign for him. 52 of 43 deliveries. Wee bit of uh, assistant for the spinners here. So Savage getting a lot of purchase. It's a good shot again. I'm wrapped that we've got a really good quality player here. I think Moon's going to be a very special player for us. If you average 30 or 40 in both um, facets, it's just another handy man to have in the team. Just that additional bowling option just means we can be a lot more aggressive in our selections too. It's a good shot. That's gone for four. 61 off 48. Good shot. 127 for one now, Otago. And Savage will get the wicket of Moon. He traps him LBW. And that's a real shame because he was looking quite good. He's 65 off 50 there, Moon. 11 for his 1 6. It brings Glenn Phillips to the crease. Him and Aswood have been around the team a while now. So, oh, it's back to back wicket. Savage. Double strike. Both men established that are gone now. So, Albert Bentall. Now just broke the partnerships, guys. That's what we want. It's pretty much quite a few quick wickets here. Just uh, just set a target back big time. It's Van Allen. Sort of in a recovery job now for a target. All the way for six. It's a good shot. Allen down the ground. That's four. Easy shot. Allen with all his experience. Played a lot for a target now. We signed him quite a few seasons ago now. We've just got to get true value out of him now. Because I think he's going to be a more of a regular for us. Can one of these two go big? No. Savage strikes again. He's gone for 13. Bentall brings Foxcroft to the crease. Targo will be happy they've got the extra batsman in the team today. Precarious position though. Comfortably going at 6 per over. But it's just the wickets concerned. They've got so many overs to bat too. Do they just continue to back themselves all the way here? Good shot again. That's a four. Blitzed. From Allen. Just beats the diving fielder. And that is a half century for Finn Allen. He's better beautifully. He's got to continue. 52 of 29 deliveries. So that's gone racing away for the boundary. Maybe trying to attack the bowling here. Part of the Otago side. 207 for 5 after 31. Love another 100 odd runs. Beautifully struck. That's just crisply hit. Straight back past the bowl for 4. Rocks off the back foot. Driven um, beautifully from Foxcroft. Back to back boundaries. And he's got himself out. Terrible shot, uh, really. It's gone for 18 off 25. It brings. Simon Armstrong to the crease on debut. As Finn Allen continues to attack the bowling. This is going to have to continue for the majority of the innings now. Oh, that's a lucky shot there from Finn Allen. 242 for 6. Gets that away for uh, four. 
It's no ball as well. 78 off 52 now. He's skied it. This could be the end of Finn Allen, and it is. He's gone for 78 of 55. 9 fours, 3 sixes in that innings. Now, Targa will be just looking to bat their overs out. Get something on the board. He's gone for 4. Just not going to bat the 50. That's just the Targo's problem in recent um, one-day games. Swept. That's 4. 2.58 for 8 now. Gets and whips that. Lovely for 4. Still got Armstrong there. It's more of a bowling all-rounder though, but he can chip in with the bat. He's a valuable run for a target because they close in on that 300. 286 for 8 now. Playing a little bit of a gem here, Armstrong. He's not scoring too slowly either. He's just ensuring we're batting close to the overs out. That's a lovely sweep shot. That's cleanly hit. Like a tracer bullet for 6. And 300's up for a Tiger. Who would have thought when they collapsed a little bit in the middle there? All-time record partnership, Targa versus Wellington. Four overs remain. Can they get 320? Got an imposing score on the board now, which I'm really wrapped about. Scott Armstrong making that impression to all-time record partnership for these two. Armstrong making that impression to be picked ahead of Fulcher. Like, Fulcher at the end of the day hasn't taken his chances. It's four runs. Game-changing partnership, possibly. Kitson's gone for 30. 320 for 9. And... <laughs> The onslaught continues despite the amount of wickets in hand. Can Armstrong finish strongly? Get a few boundaries. That is delightfully played. The field's up, which is a bit strange for the old uh, Wellington side. Look at that. Pretty much, that's a 50 for Armstrong. That's incredibly good batting. Full toss, punished. Wellington to let that slip. 336 for 9. Uh, 50s to Moon at the top. 65 off 50. Finn Allen, 78 of 55. 9 fours, 3 sixes. 57 off 44 for Armstrong. And that partnership between him and Kitson has got a target to a very formidable score. Zimbabwe, 73 for 4 in that game. Uh, KA, 1 for 21. Williams amongst um, the bowling as well. The games and that going. Central Districts. Just having a wee note to see if any of our old players are um, playing. Uh, Northern Districts Canterbury. Right, yeah. So we've just got to bowl well here. Just get into good channels. Get into good rhythm. So Kitson's picked up the wicket of green. 49 for 1 after 10. Gonna bring True Scott into the attack. One over for thirteen. Pretty expensive. Uh, pretty much Moon into the attacks. Got to keep it tight. Moon's done exactly that. He's drew in the edge of uh, True Scott. He's gone for 20. True, uh, True Scott's out of the attack. We'll bring some off spin in of um, Armstrong. See if he can offer anything just tidily enough with the ball. Doesn't, unfortunately. 1 15 for 2 after 20. 
bringing the experience of Foxcroft in now. The extra bowlers are so useful. So if some couple get carded, we can sort of make up the overs. True Scott will come back into the attack. 50 up uh, for uh, Johnson. Foxcroft bowled relatively tidily here. Key strike, Johnson will start into its accelerators inning. 68 off 83, seven boundaries in that innings. True Scott out of the attack. Um, Armstrong will come into the attack again. Trying to get him some experience under his belt for his spin. So Dean Foxcroft starting to step up with the ball. He's picked up a couple wickets now, two for 28. No, Armstrong's been super expensive. He's going to pick up a valuable wicket of Cox. And that's a familiar face. Jeffrey Cox. Pretty much has started the season quite well for Wellington. Good on him uh, for taking the opportunity to move up there. His career was pretty solid for us. Uh, good to see him prosper elsewhere. He's still a very young cricketer. He could easily improve. So Armstrong's adding to a pretty good fixture for himself on debut. Picked up a handy 50, and he's got a couple wickets here. It's going to trust him, get through get through a spell, give him some confidence. Pick the wicket around tree for seven. Foxcroft. It's gone for one. He's gone and got king for one, sorry. Uh, 228 for eight. Needing 109 off 10.9. And this remarkable debut continues for Armstrong. Spinning his side to victory. He's got some key strikes in this innings too. Got the key wicket of um, Cox uh, when he was established. And so Foxcroft, the part-time spinner, has done a really good job. And then the attack. Can he finish the job and more importantly get a target's first win on the board this season? He does. He gets another wicket. It's got bowler Trent Kitts and he gets the wicket of Nathan Smith for a minuscule amount. But Armstrong on debut with an impressive 57 off 44 and a 4 for 58. So might be picking up there a little bit. But yeah, that wasn't a really important one. It gets us really close to Auckland straight away, so no one's really gaining on us. So you guys will be back with the next game against uh, Canterbury. Obviously, we'll make some changes. Why change the winning team? Um, we'll stick with the same team for the Canterbury game. So your lineup is Turner, Moon, Aswood, Phillips, Bentle, Allen, got Foxcroft and Armstrong, Hall, Kitson and True Scott. Let's see how we go against Canterbury. We need another one. Get back to a relatively good position on the leaderboard. And yeah, effectively push for playoffs. So let's get a good performance in here. Get off to a good start, and that's not a good start. Good areas from Corbin. Gets the wicket of Moon. Moon will depart for one. So Canterbury, as mentioned, a lot of experience in their attack. Corbin. Pallard started off good. Hayden Johnson. So you've got a lot of good, solid cricket operators here. Fraser Sheet's been around a long time. So. Good career stats against us. I wish um, the game um, sort of broke down like against the other domestic teams how the players have performed. Some of the Canterbury numbers will be quite good against us with um, ball in hand. 16 for one. So whipped away for four. Shots from Turner. That's a lovely boundary. Good shot again. 44 for one. Wouldn't have mattered. It's a free hit. I think Turner want to get amongst the runs too. Like he's only a real young fella still. But uh, like there's a lot of competition for places once everyone's back. Love him to go big here today would be ideal. 
Yes, we're trying to play himself back into the black caps, of course. Is that a way for four? Building that foundation. Getting over 300 and putting Canterbury under some sort of pressure. We've got the bowling attack, as proven in the last game. Really, it's timing that sweep beautifully today, um, as Aswood. Got a few guys on that sweep now. It's just not sustainable. Thirty-eight of thirty-two, Aswood. That is an innings where he needed to kick on. Just getting out in that area of the air. It's been things are getting a wee bit easier. It's just not. Quite the standard we want to see it. Allard's made a really good impressive start to his first class career. Gets an opportunity in this game. Drifts it into Phillips. Phillips gets it away for four. Get that away for four and that is 50 for uh, Turner. 50 off 67 deliveries. Just done a reasonable start today. And a lovely sweep from Glenn Phillips. So that is drifted up into the pads. have been swept. They're playing the spin quite well here. It's been a few maximums off the bat today. It's just another one. I just feel as though Canterbury is bowling to Otago strengths here. And it's just, they're getting punished for it. Shot. That is whipped down the ground. That's four. Just think they bowled too many boundary balls here. Uh, well, uh, not well, uh, Canterbury. Just allowing uh, another part chipping at the form. That's just a full toss. That's just been absolutely dealt to by Turner. Try to sweep. Going down leg. This is splendid batting from Otago at the moment. Just got to keep the um, run rate taking over. Depth's been truly tested in our squad the last couple of um, years. This was a lot of guys getting caught up in the black caps. Depth um, that we have produced is simply brilliant. Um, yeah, the spinners have just been belted out of the attack. Flowing down to third man there. Uh, getting, a, getting a single or a boundary per over is pretty nice uh, going. And that's a pretty tight run. They'll get it there though. Glenn Phillips brings up his half century of 33 balls. Batted so well in the process. So target moved to 174 for two. And it's out. Turner's gonna be kicking himself from that. He's gone for 73 up 87 deliveries, brings Albert Bentle to the crease. He's trying to get himself established. I um, think the task will be just to get into a position where we can sort of um, play reasonably good cricket. Fourteen of ten. It's exactly the start they wanted. One ninety for three after twenty-eight overs. Really need to change too much about how they're going here at Targo. They've had the odd couple of lapses in the overs, but apart from that. Oh, that's good delivery from Corbin. Mental just found Monting there. He's gone for 23 off 20. Brings Fidel onto the crease. 
Finell and can score very quickly. If he can get a partnership going with um, Phillips, would be really awesome. Really accelerate this innings. We got balls. Doesn't matter. It's going for the fence. It's much more like it from the Otago Bolts. Like, started the season really slowly. Got that win in that last game. It's given them a good amount of confidence now. To really look, they're going to really launch out really early. It's a big risk um, with only six wickets in hand. Oh, that's terrible. Why, why even bother running that, guys? That's just, there's just no run there. They, they need to fix that up. Why, why on earth would you run that, um, <laughs> cricket captain? Anyhow, a run out to run out. Send me off sixty five, Glenn Phillips. Shot of the day. Driven on the up. That's sailing into the crowd. That's another beautiful shot. I'm gonna take the bowlers on. Just gonna back themselves to Targo. Like to get that big score. 265 for five now. Bit of a misfield there, but uh, nonetheless it's another boundary for Otago. 269 for five in the 41st over. Five wickets remaining. Armstrong to come in, who of course got that very solid score on debut. Is that away for four? Closing in on a big century here at Glenn Phillips. He's 92 off 74. Good shot. Cracking shot. That is 100 for Glenn Phillips. Exceptional batting. He's a very good, um, very good leader of this team. He's a senior man along with Finn Allen, Foxcroft. There's a lot of men that have been around this team for a long time. It's a good shot. It's, the spinners have been dreadful for um, Canterbury today. 301 for 5. It's a full toss. Didn't really time it that well, but he still finds the gap. Still gets 4, and that's 16 off the over. Fastest 100 off 79 deliveries there. Uh, run a, like, a lot of the players have contributed today in terms of runs, and... Just going to get past the diving fielder. That's all that matters. 313 for 5. Want something around 350. We can get it. Very capable of getting it from here. He's gone for a 24 off 28 Fox drop, but he played a good supporting role. The charge continues. Canopy will be trying to limit the damage. It's not going to matter with the way Glenn Phillips is batting. Getting splendidly. 136 of 93. It's a user high score against Canterbury. But yeah, two really good batting performances in this game. And in the in these uh, videos that were posted, um, Armstrong gone for five, Hall and now. Oh, he's been dropped. That was a magnificent effort there, though, to sort of stop that. And we've run out for Phillips. So, we've a couple of terrible runs that we've decided to take. 343 for eight. It's 
3, 47 for 8 off 50 overs, magnificent 100 from Phillips, 137 to 94, 19 fours, 5 sixes. Turner was really solid up the front. Aswood, Bentle, Allen, Foxtrot, all contributing very useful runs. And what will be an imposing score. 390 for 6 there, New Zealand. Uh, pretty much Lewis didn't get too much. Snow's into the uh, 60, so that's good for us. Just want to bowl. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll bowl with a little bit of aggression here. We'll try and get some wickets up front. Kitson's got the wicket of Travis early. He's gone for zero. Tall. He will look to hoop the ball as well. I think Kitson's starting to get to back to his best form. It's good to see. He's gone for 14. So his average is 23.83. It's just it's the all-round game now. 42 for 2 after 10. Uh, we'll bowl True Scots. Bowl our fourth uh, seamer option. Moon. Moon just bowls sort of line and length. 93 for two after 20 overs. 8.5 and over are needed, but they've got two men starting to establish themselves. Spin operating at both ends. Long way to go for Canterbury and Davis, who's had international experience and had relatively good success of it of late. He's gone for 56. Foxcroft will continue to bowl. I think Armstrong would probably be taking out the attack now. Got the wicket of Wiggins as well. Like, Canterbury have done a reasonably good job here with Boyle, 70 out of 78, 8 fours, 2 6 and then 56 off 60 Davis. Just a steep, steep run chase. Bring Kitson back. Oh, Canterbury have picked it up a little bit here. Like, we have to say good batting really from Boyle here, and Stewart's really turning it on as well. Game is not over yet. We're going to need some wickets, I think, just to contain them a little bit. Finally got one. We've got the key wicket to boil, but he's done a lot of damage in this over, even. He's just bringing the game in striking distance for Canterbury. Two eighty-two for six. It's a good catch. All strikes, he gets a second wicket. Gonna save those two. True Scots. Five over none for 31 in his spell. Though we might bowl our best scoop bowlers here because, like I said, Canterbury are doing a um, really good effort in this run chase. 22 off 24. We need a wicket. Stewart is just extremely. Um, Taking the bowlers to, to, to the sword here. Kitson's picked up the wicket of Corbin. This game's going down to the wire. But we need the wicket of Stuart. If Stuart's there at the end, we lose. Effectively. And he's... 9, 10 off for a lad there. Okay, so we're just going to have to get another wicket here. Magnificent performance in the run chase by Canterbury. And we have dropped this game. Thought we we're going to win that for sure. Still, what a performance. 102 or 52 deliveries. First 100 in this format. What a time to bring it up. Uh, Jack Boyle, been around the scene a long time, brings up his 10th one day 100. It's just a performance that we didn't want. Uh, so we're a wee bit behind in the standings. Canterbury were last too, so I'm really disappointed with that effort. So, yeah, you guys will be back. Um, we'll probably have another lot of one-day games. Uh, no, it will be the 20-over stuff. So you guys will be here for the Northern District and Central Districts games. So join us for those, and we'll see you next time for more Cricket Captain.